Mercury's only video newsletter, the Music and Sound Retailer's V Newsletter. I'm Jill Michelini, and I hope everybody had a great New Year's celebration. I sure did. And of course, don't forget, the party is not over yet. January 14th marks the start of the 2010 Winter NAM show. We've got a bunch of cool things that you may see at the show, but first, some big news from Behringer. Behringer's parent company, The Music Group, acquired two brands from Bosch Communication Systems. Music Group, led by founder Uli Behringer and CEO Michael Deeb, bought Midas and Clark Technic as part of an asset deal that was signed on December 8th. The terms of the deal were not disclosed, and the sale is still subject to regulatory approval. However, if everything goes through, the brands will continue to operate independently, and all 106 people working for those brands are expected to keep their jobs. Fender kicked off a new initiative on January 1st. The company is going local and going green. Fender's entire accessory string selection is now being made right here in the USA and is being shipped in corrosion-proof inner packaging to make sure that the strings stay fresh over long periods of time. The packaging is also being printed on environmentally friendly recycled stock with soy ink. Congratulations go out to Ron Manis. He's been named the new CEO of Alfred Music Publishing after his brother Steve retired and moved to Spain to be with his wife and daughter. Speaking about his new role, Manis said, quote, When Steve first started talking with me about retiring, I couldn't imagine Alfred without him. But I realized taking on this new role was a perfect fit for me. I not only can do it, I was born to do it. He went on to say, quote, As a Manis, I plan to continue Alfred's mission to help the world experience the joy of making music. Yamaha launched a keyboard dealer inventory flooring program as part of its customer financial services division. The program is called Easy Pay and offers competitive rates and online payments for financing Yamaha pianos, Disclavier, Clavinova, Avant Grand, and Modus products. The company is accepting applications from current Yamaha dealers and will start processing orders on flooring terms this month for qualified retailers. Representatives from the Customer Financial Services Division will be at NAM to demonstrate the EasyPay system and, of course, to answer your questions. Now, speaking of Yamaha at NAM, did you hear the good news? The Yamaha Dealer Concert is back. It's to celebrate the company's 50th anniversary of selling in the U.S. Yamaha is featuring performers like Natalie Cole, Jason Mraz, Michael McDonald, and even Vince Gill. The show will take place at 8 p.m. on Friday, January 15th at Disney's Hyperion Theater in the California Adventure Park. There are limited tickets available, so Yamaha dealers should see their sales reps for more information. Want more artist appearances? Well, how about Peter Frampton? He'll be signing autographs at Sennheiser's booth on January 15th. Sennheiser also welcomed Cypress Hill to the booth on the 16th, and Ricky Skaggs will be there on the 17th. All these appearances take place from 2 to 3 p.m. on their respective days. Audix will be hosting a few celebrity appearances, too. Artists like Walfredo Reyes Jr. and Todd Sushiman will be stopping by the Audix booth on January 14th. And you can catch surf guitar legend Dick Dale on the 16th. You'll also want to stop by the Music People's booth, where Aerosmith tribute band Aerosmith will be performing and demonstrating the company's new products on January 14th, 15th, and 16th. Head over to the Rotosound booth on January 16th and you'll see a slew of artist appearances throughout the day. James Lomenzo of Megadeth kicks things off at 11, followed by Velvet Revolver's Duff McKagan at 1, up-and-comer Eva Gardner at 2, Billy Sheehan at 3, and metal band Rat at 4. Rock on! All right, you remember what a splash Gene Simmons made at last year's NAM? Well, guess what? He's back. The Kiss Front Man will be at the court press conference announcing the company's new Gene Simmons axe base. Sorry, that's only for press, though, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him walking around the show floor. You might also catch Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith. He'll be at the show Friday, January 15th for the Percussion Marketing Council press conference. Smith will be working with the PMC on its percussion in the school's program for 2010, and he'll be introducing some specific plans for the in-school percussion concert outreach program at the event. So who else will be at NAMM? The music and sound retailer's sister publications, DJ Times, and sound and communications, of course. 
Both will be in Nam's Hot Zone, room 203A, on Saturday, January 16th. DJ Times editor Jim Tremaine will be on hand to lead a panel discussion called the DJ Market, Trends and Technologies. This is happening at noon. Sound and Communications will present two seminars beginning at 1 p.m., including a wireless spectrum update and a panel discussion moderated by editor David A. Silverman on line array speakers. These events are open to all, so check for more specific times and, of course, make sure that we see you there. Layax Co., a Japanese home electronics retailer, announced plans to open 110 stores in China for musical instruments, including 10 musical instrument stores carrying its Musivox brand. The Tokyo-based company already runs one store location in Tokyo's Akihabara Electronics District. Stores in Beijing and Shanghai will open in March, with stores in many other cities to follow. Gresh Company owners Fred and Dinah Gresh appeared on the cover of Smart Living's magazine's first edition of 2010. The cover shot recognizes the Georgia-based couple for their accomplishments within the musical instrument manufacturing industry, as well as their contributions to the arts through the Gresh Foundation. The Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, Arizona announced that it will hold its grand opening on April 24, 2010. The museum includes five galleries that focus on different regions of the world, as well as geo galleries and an artist gallery where musical icons will have their stories told through their instruments. You'll find interactive exhibits, workshops, and high resolution video screens throughout the 190,000 square foot museum. Sounds like a place that you definitely don't want to miss. Stay tuned for some of the product introductions you won't want to miss at Winter NAM.